So, uh, today I'm uploading pretty early because I have to go to a festival in downtown Mount Dora. Maybe I'll see my boyfriend there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, the story is called Ghost, and it's about... Y- you'll figure out. <laughs> uh, I'm so fun. What are you doing up so late? Amir asked. I had a nightmare about the house fire. Now I'm eating cereal to cope, Bridget answered. She pulled out a box of Rana-themed marshmallow cereal. Want some? Sure. Bridget handed him the cereal. Amir took a handful and put it in his mouth. He spat it out. This is gross. It's too sweet. Autistic guy problems. Bridget shoveled more cereal into her mouth. Don't call me autistic. Stop having internalized ableism, Amir. Amir sighed. What are we doing tomorrow? We're going to play capture the flag again. I'm going to kick your ass. Try me, weather boy. Fucking try me. I'm going to beat you up. What if your mom knew you were out here threatening women? She'd tell you that you deserve it. What about your dad? He'd tell me to be nice. Aha! I like your dad. You would have liked my dad. You can't like him in the present tense because he doesn't exist in the present tense. Oh, whatever. Bridget rolled her eyes. Do you think you would have liked my dad? No, your dad seemed lame. He was not. Any man who who would date Victoria is a loser. Your dad? Loser. That guy we shot? Loser. Her new girlfriend? Probably a loser. I don't know. Maybe Victoria's pretty good by homosexual standards. I mean... New guy is willing to date Dean despite him being a freak, so homosexuals seem to have pretty low standards. Yeah, once you grow up, I'm sure all the homosexual women will be willing to date you. Fuck you. Any person would be blessed to fuck with me. You're a literal murderer. So are you. You were the one who took the shot. Yet you were the one who helped me out. If you don't shut your mouth, I'm going to tell your dad you're a murderer. What are you going to do? Dig him up again and tell his rotting corpse his son's a little bitch? Yeah. Oh, God. Amir weakly threw himself on the floor. My life is ruined. I have nothing more to live for. Good. Bill stumbled into the kitchen. Bridget, tell Amir to stop playing piano in my room. I'm not playing piano in your room, Amir corrected. Really? Bill rubbed his crusty ass eyes. Oh, then who is? Maybe it's Matt, bitch. Bridget suggested. Was it good piano playing? Amir asked. Yeah, it was pretty great, actually, Bill answered. Can't be, Matt. Are you implying my brother can't play the piano because he has no eyes? Bridget answered, asked. Yes. Amir turned to Bill. Let's go check it out. The children all walked to Bill and Matt's room. On the other side of the door, you could hear jazz piano music. It could only be assumed that Matt had been awoken by the piano as well, but he was simply covering his ears and waiting for it to go away or something. Hmm. Amir grabbed the doorknob. What? Bridget asked. It sounds familiar, Amir answered. And that's it. (laughs) So, the story is called Ghost for a Reason, you know? Uh, Not very subtle title. Now that I think about it, but you know, we're here to have fun. <laughs> I hope I hope my boyfriend likes it. I hope he sees it before the festival starts, so that he'll be like, "Wow, I should go to the festival today and go see my girlfriend." They're the only important thing ever. <laughs> um, I hope I see you there, boyfriend. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, bye bye.